Hey, you're back with Lance at Brando Consulting. Thanks for joining us today. This video is going to cover the simple steps of creating a work order. So let's take a look. So step one is go to the manufacturer order screen. It's found under the manufacturing category. There's no work order screen. As a matter of fact, each line on a manufacturer order is a separate work order. Okay. So step one in creating a new work order, go to the top left hand corner and click new. This will begin the steps of creating a manufacturer order. Next, you can, if you'd like, change this date scheduled. And this will indicate that that's the date that the first work order will begin. Next, if you have user rights to more than one building, to more than one warehouse, select the warehouse that the work orders will be uh, assembled in or manufactured in. Select the quantity <coughs> you want to manufacture of the particular finished good. Select the bill of material. And the bill of material is usually the name of the finished good. But take note of what quantity the bill of material is creating and make sure you're selecting the correct quantity here. This quantity applies to the bill of material quantity, not necessarily the finished good yield. So make sure you're, you're clear on um, the quantity finished good yield the bill of material is designed to produce. So once again, simply select the quantity for the bill of material select the bill of material from the list and here's an example of an item that has uh, variables and options on the on the bill of material some bill of materials can be designed to be a custom bill of material and the customer selects the options and variables uh, I'll go with the default and click next and finish so we have one bill of material with variables. Now, whoa, what just happened? I've only selected two uh, bills of material and we have four work orders. So the bill of material I selected had stages on the bill of material. And those stages were assigned to be build to order or build when short, were the, were the auto create settings on the bill of material. So if those settings are set to build to order or build when short, then uh, when you add the top level bill of material, the sub levels will automatically be added. So we're going to start at the bottom level and this should be scheduled first. If we're starting our work orders on the 20th, then this bottom level work order should begin on the 20th at, I don't know, what time do you want to start? Uh, 9 a.m., we'll say, and click OK. After that bill of material is done, it may take an hour to throw those together. The next group, let's start it on the same day at, say, oh, 10 o'clock. Oh, that turned out to be 1 o'clock. Don't want 1 o'clock. I want 10 o'clock. Doesn't like me. Doesn't like me. 10 a.m. Come on. Give me a 10. It only wants 1 a.m. Okay. Weird. We got through that. Click OK. And then the next level should be ready to go uh, a little later on that day, let's say um, afternoon. So we'll change that to noon. <clears throat> so those work orders are ready to go. This one we may schedule on the 21st or we, who knows, we just might want to schedule it for right now. So once we have the work orders on the manufacturer order, the last step is to click Issue. Once we've 
issued these work orders, if you'd like, you can decide different locations to, um, to produce whatever you're producing. So you may have machines that produce things. I set machine one, machine two, and machine three up in the location module in Fishbowl. So you can assign the machine that's going to be um, producing this. Now, on the bill of material screen, you also have the option to select a default location that that bill of material will be uh, manufactured. So if you set up the default locations, then that this will be the location that automatically shows up. And then I'll click save to save the planned location that will be to. So there's the simple steps of just creating a work order or a production uh, schedule in the manufacturer order screen. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next video.